C I E T N C E R T presents audiobook of mathematics for class 3 entitled math magic 3 part 1 chapter 4 long and short class 3 mathematics textbook math magic page 46 long and short lali is selling things at her father's shop a farmer comes to buy rope the picture below shows the conversation between lali and farmer farmer can you give me 7 arms of rope Picture at left hand side shows Lali measuring rope with her arm and saying Here is your seven arms of rope The farmer responded But this is only six arms long Lali replied Why don't you measure your arm with this rope and take seven times of that length So the farmer measures his arm with the rope and lali gives him seven times that much rope measure your arm and your mother's arm what's the difference footnote children should be encouraged to look around and see how lengths of different things are measured in different ways using local or non standard units For example rope garlands or cloth may be sold by the cubit hand span fingers etc they also need to do activities of measuring lengths and distances with their own body parts page 47 how many this page has four questions and each question has a picture let's begin reading the first question question 1 in how many steps will dorji cross the road the picture on the left hand side shows dorji standing on the pavement at one side of the road the second side is shown at some distance question 2 how many cups can be placed in a line on this table the picture at the left hand side shows a table on which 3 cups are kept along the length question 3 how many pots can be placed to reach the tree branch the picture on the right hand side shows two pots kept under a tall tree one over the other question 4 How many shirts can be hung on this wire? The picture below shows a shirt hanging at the clothes line on one side with a lot of empty space after the shirt. Page number 48. How much is a centimeter? There are two pictures on this page followed by few questions. Let's begin reading the first picture. Picture 1 shows a sleeping line with 14 small standing lines marked at 1 cm distance. On top of this, a match stick is shown in sleeping position from second standing line till fifth standing line. On top of this, a crocodile is shown from first standing line till the last standing line. Picture 2 shows a sleeping line with 13 small standing lines marked at 1 cm distance below this sleeping line there is a dice between 5th and 6th standing line the sides of dice are joined by the standing line by dotted lines below the dice there is a wax crayon in sleeping line position with one end joined by first standing line and second end joined 
by eighth standing line through dotted line. At the right side of the dice, there is a leaf in sleeping line position, with one end joined to ninth standing line and second end to thirteenth standing line with dotted line. There is some text below these pictures. Let's read the text line-wise. Line 1. The matchstick is 4 cm long. Line 2. The dice is 1 cm from every side. Line 3. The lizard is 13 cm long. Line 4. The leaf is dash centimeters long. Line 5. The wax color is dash centimeters long. Line 6. Now look at a scale that you find in your geometry box. How many centimeters does it have? Dash. Page number 49. The small scale that you mostly used in school is like this one. The picture below shows the small scale that is usually available in geometry boxes. It has 15 cm marked on it. There are small standing lines between the centimeters which are marked by numbers from 0 to 15 written just below the standing lines. The small standing lines represent millimeters. Just above the scale, a cloth hook is shown, whose first end is joined to zero and second end is joined with one by dotted lines. Above the hook, there is a safety pin, whose first end is joined to zero and second end is joined with two by dotted lines. Above safety pin, there is a toy whose first end is joined to zero and second end is joined with three by dotted lines. Above toy, there is a nail whose first end is joined to zero and second end is joined with four by dotted lines. Below the scale, text says, Is it easier to start measuring from the zero mark? Look at the things drawn near the scale and find out their lengths. Question 1. What are the little lines on the scale used for? Question 2. Look for things that are Part A. About 10 cm long Part B. Between 10 and 20 cm long Part C. Less than 1 cm long Question 3. Draw some of them here. Space below has rectangular shape box for drawing. At the right hand side, the picture shows a standing giraffe and a rat standing near the front legs of giraffe. The giraffe is saying, Mouse, where are you? The rat replies, I am here. Page 50. How big is my hand? Measure the length of your thumb and your little finger. Use the scale on this page. There is a scale at the left hand side of this page. Placed in standing position with 0 at the left bottom corner and 25 at the left top corner. Which is longer? Thumb? Or little finger. Bring a measuring tape to your class. Guess the length of different parts of your body and check if your guess is correct. You can use a scale, string, measuring tape, etc. The picture below shows two pair of children and one single child measuring body parts. In pair one, girl is measuring the wrist of boy using a thread. In pair 2, the girl is measuring the palm of the boy with the help of scale. At the right hand side, a girl is measuring 
her own forehead with measuring tape. Think, how will you know the number of centimeters if you measure with a rope, shoestring, thread, etc. Page number 51 This page has a table with five rows and three columns. The top of column 1 shows a pair of children measuring each other. The second column is titled My Own Measurement. The third column is titled My Friend's Measurement. Row 1, Column 1, Nose. Column 2, Dash Centimeters. Column 3, Dash Centimeters. Row 2, Column 1, Around the Waist. Dash Centimeters. Column 3, Dash Centimeters. Row 3, Column 1, Around the Head. Dash centimeters. Column 3. Dash centimeters. Row 4. Column 1. Ear. Dash centimeters. Column 3. Dash centimeters. Row 5. Column 1. Hand. Tip of middle finger to wrist. Dash centimeters. Column 3. Dash centimeters. Compare your measurement with your friends's. Question 1. Who has the biggest head and who has the smallest head? Dash. Dash. The picture at the right side shows a girl measuring a boy with the help of scale. Question 2. Who has the longest hand? From middle finger to wrist. Dash. Question 3. Which is longer, your ear or your nose? Dash. Question 4. Is any of your nails more than 1 cm long? Dash. The picture at the right hand side shows a girl measuring her friend's arm with the help of scale. The Chapter 4 Long and Short Part 1 Of total, 14 chapters of the book ends here. Narrator Akash Ahuja Sound Recordists Batilang Lingdo and Mayank Kumar Assistance in Production by Tanu Gupta Producer Vimlesh Chaudhary this book is presented to you by CIET NCERT New Delhi India